I did. He said, I am. Stop it. He said before Abraham, I am. And he said, you make yourself God, the Jews. He said it. You accept it. Now stop lying to me. No. No, it does not disqualify you as you are speaking blasphemous words to my Christ. I need to stop get it. I subjugate myself to lies. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahilladzi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa dinil haqq yuzhirhu 'ala dini kullihi wa kafa billahi shahida. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lah wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu la nabiyya ba'da. Berjumpa lagi dengan channel saya Mars Techno. Saya doakan semoga semua sahabat dalam keadaan sehat selalu. Pada video kali ini kami akan menampilkan bagaimana usaha dakwah seorang Sabel Ahmad. Beliau adalah salah seorang murid dari Dr. Zakir Naik yang memang reputasinya sudah tidak kita ragukan lagi. Pada kesempatan ini beliau menerima Pastor Mario yang datang kembali ke masjid untuk mendebat Dr. Sabel Ahmad. Nah sahabat mari kita saksikan saja video selengkapnya dan saya akan sedikit mereaksinya. Jesus pointing to the heaven in John 17:3 he said you are the only true god and Jesus sent by god god is not going to say to someone else that somebody else is the only true god that disqualifies Jesus to be from god no no do not disqualify you as you are speaking blasphemous words to my christ I need to stop get it i subjugate myself to lies how could you say that Tell me one single place where Jesus said that I am God. We have not heard the Yes, I yet. did. He said, I am. Stop it. He said before Abraham, I am. And he said, you make yourself God, the Jews. He said, you accept it. Now stop lying to me. He said, I am before Abraham, I was. And he, and he said he was God and he didn't like it, their business. And I will show you, he says here, before Abraham, I am. He said... And all over in Isaiah, right here it says he endorses them in the Quran, 66 books in Isaiah, 66 chapters in Isaiah, talk about Jesus, I'll show you the spirit of God is anointed upon me, he said in New Testament prophetic, you make yourself God, yes, that's what he's saying, and you say did not all over the pages. Okay, let's uh, officially start, all right? Oh, well, that was a prelude. I thought I was starting because I have lots to say. <laughs> not yet. You know, I can not preach yet. at a dime. It is by the spirit of the living God. I don't have to have script. I know that book, and I know the power of God. Let's let's hold on. This is, let's hold on. Let's formally start. Let's have okay, the intro. Then, we have the president right. of the mosque over here. Where's the president of the mosque? Yeah, Assalamualaikum. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh. We start in the name okay. of God, the most beneficent yes. and the most merciful. Uh, that's, we yes. first and foremost, we thank that's our creator yes. for having us discuss over here yes. about Islam, about different topics, Yes. Uh, and uh, as brothers and sisters. Yes. Friendly manner. Well, of course. And we also thank uh, this mosque over here, Brother Imad and all the volunteers. Thank who you came. for having me. We all came to learn and we all came to pray to God. So Amen. God can guide us. He yes. can bless us. Yes. So all of us together, we can be in paradise. Yes. Now. Number three, we would like to thank Pastor Mario. You know, not only for him coming here, I would say that God sent him over here so he can learn the truth of Islam. And you can learn the true Jesus Christ. Yes. Miracle. Inshallah, we God willing, right? So, okay, yes. so what we will do is, uh, well, we are going to have a nice, friendly discussion. Yes. We are going to time ourselves. Right. And Brother uh, Imad, who is the president, okay. he is going to time us, Inshallah. Okay. So just to make sure that we all get equal opportunity. Yes, time it. Yes. And the topic good. is, I, I, I picked the topic, I said. Remember that? Be, be clear to your speech. I picked the topic, I said. Who is Jesus Christ? Okay, fine. So the topic is, who is Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him? So that is the topic. Is that okay with all of you? And to prove Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, in the Quran compared to the Bible of Pastor Mario. And okay, sounds good. Yes. Can I, can I, and he's in your Quran, Isa, 25 times. Muhammad's therefore. Let's speak by. Let this be truth. Let this be truth. It's not what I say. Inventions of religions is not. This book is real, intricate. 
intricate genealogies in Matthew. I will read some. So, 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 so now, so, am I starting? I don't no, know. no, no, not okay. yet, not okay. yet. So right. what we can do? Right, let's is, just get to the chase. Okay. And let's just do this. What we? Let's, yes. Let's do, let's do it with the time. Give time to eat every person. To yes, uh, yes, we understood that, Doctor Shayib. Start with the brother. Uh, Sabil. Sabil, inshallah, Dr. Sabil, uh, we'll give you what we what's going to be a time frame, five minutes, ten minutes each. Yeah, so what we can do is, we can have like a five minute intro of the topic. Okay. The topic itself. So okay. I will give a five minute intro of the topic, inshallah, and the topic is, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, in the context of Islam. And then Brother Mario, Pastor Mario, who is our guest here, he's Thank going you. to do exactly the same. And you are, Brother Imad is going to be timing us. Right. And right. we as, uh, as humans and as believers in one God, we should all abide by the time. Me yes. and Brother Mario and all of us. Yes. Right? And uh, we are the ones uh, speaking. If you do have any question, yes, we will give time for yes. all of us, yes. inshallah, to ask questions. But... We should abide by the time. So the very yes. first uh, intro would be five minutes and five minutes. Yes. And then what we can do is, after the intro, we can have two minutes each for discussion back and forth. So that discussion, Brother Mario, is going to be for two minutes exact. Oh, well, you said Let's five, not, well, you said five minutes. I don't, I don't five minutes of intro of the topic. Right. Okay. Then we will start the discussion. And then you and go you back and not continue the narrative because yeah, it can yes. be done in two minutes. That's fine. Yeah, not... Not exceeding two minutes. Yes. Yeah, you we can take like two minutes, five yes, seconds, yes. two minutes, seconds, uh, you know, ten yes, seconds. Yes, you said so many times up. over. I understand. There's more important thing. We got it. There's serious things here because if you're wrong, you will go to hell, Shaitan. If I'm wrong, I will go to hell. That's it. Yes. So it's not so, many so, paths lead to God. It is on but one God so and one you path. Like, uh, okay. So now just to start it open. I'm just so my heart is full to give you because I love you. So just start this, please. Let's get on with it. Okay, five minutes. Time. Oh, you're 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 start. Okay, sorry. No, no, I'm I'm starting. Okay, let's start for the love of God. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, I start in the name of God, the most beneficent and the most merciful. So the topic today we have is who is Jesus? Peace be upon him. I will give five points. We have five minutes for five points. So first and foremost, I would like to say that there is one Creator. And that creator, we say, he's Allah, he has wonderful attributes. He's one, he's not one in three, not multiple persons, not multiple idols. He's only one in one. We say that he's eternal, he does not have any parents, does not have any children. He is uh, all knowing, all merciful, all forgiving. And he's a loving and guiding creator. So to guide humanity, God did not came down and became a human. He remained God and he, from, he chose from the humans, messengers and prophets. So that's point number two. So there were many prophets that he chose in the past. It says in the Quran, chapter 16, verse number 36, that God appointed messengers to all the nations of the past and they came with one fundamental belief. And that is to invite humanity to the submission of one God. Not to worship humans and idols and uh, animals or the not. creation, but the submission of one God. So we say that belief of submission to one God in Arabic is Islam. Yes. So in that context, we say all the prophets of the past, may that be Abraham and Moses, Noah and Ishmael and Isaac and David and Solomon and Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, every single one of them, they submitted to the one creator. So in that technical definition, Arabic definition, we say that every single one of them, they were Muslims. Muslim is a person who submits to one God and they followed the faith of Islam because Islam means submission to one God. That's point number two. Point number three would be, so Jesus was a prophet who was sent or who was appointed by God to the children of Israel. They deviated, they were, became so ritualistic, so dogmatic. So Jesus came to purify them, to lead them towards the truth. So to do that, God did many, many miracles through Jesus, peace be upon him. One of the miracles was that when he was a baby, he started to speak. You know, when people were accusing Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was quiet. How can she defend herself? So Jesus, as a baby, he started to speak and he said, so this is just the English translation. This is in chapter 19 of the Quran, verse number 30. Jesus as a baby, he said that I am a slave, a servant of God. God made me a prophet. God gave me a book, God made me good to be my mother and to, uh, and to pray and to give charity. 
So Jesus was a prophet. He performed Jesus, miracles. Jesus, till I die. Yes, peace till, be upon no, me. No, till I die. Yeah, till I die, yes. I thought you were speaking... Are we supposed to... Can, wait, wait, wait. Can we interject? I thought you were speaking. He interjects. I, I could yes, interject yes. on those points. Yeah, so it's important. They wait, can wait. be... Yes. The order is they interject. I no, thought no. you were supposed to speak. Nobody's supposed to inter interject. Right, that's what they're doing. Okay, sure, sure. Because I can interject to what you said. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm yet, not right? going to listen to me. I was, I was, according to rules, we listen. But they interject and they said something to try to correct your side yeah. to say stuff. So they're not following the rules. So I'm saying because they're going to interject. Okay, thirty seconds. I have to dismantle to what you said. No, no. When after that time comes, my son. dear brother. Yes, so please wait. After I could dismantle it by the Quran, which is said. Okay, fine. So let me continue. Let right? the scripture speak. So the point number three was, uh, yeah. So the point number three was, Jesus was a prophet according to the Quran. Chapter 5, verse number 75 says that Jesus was no more than a prophet. Many prophets were sent before him and they both used to eat, him and his mother. So God is saying that how can somebody be God, son of God, when they are dependent on food? And every single miracle that Jesus did, according to the Quran, it was by the permission of God, by the power of God. So that's point number three. Point number four would be, okay, what is the message of Jesus? Yes, he did perform miracles. He had challenges. He came to the people of Israel. His biggest message is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 51. Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'budu haza sirata mustaqim. So the translation is this, chapter 3 verse number 51. Jesus is saying that verily Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Worship Him alone and that is the straight path. <laughs> so that is point number 4. Oh, so let yeah. me give one passage yeah, from the Bible just to make sure that pastor can look it up later on. And this is in the Gospel of Mark, which is the what, second Gospel. No, I already second. know what you're going to say. I know, I know. Chapter number 12 of Mark, verse number 28. A common person came to Jesus and he was asking a really important question of all the commandments of the Old Testament. And the people of the past, the Jewish people, they had 613 commandments. And this person, he wants to know of all the commandments, which one is the first, the greatest, the foremost of all of them. And Jesus, he said, that here, O Israel, the Lord, our God is only one. Love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. True. And that is the first commandment. True. So we say when people, when they deviated from the truth of what Jesus brought to bring people to the worship of one God, not to worship him, then God appointed the final prophet. So this is the point number five. Okay. And that final prophet is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay, so next time you can mention, okay, one minute to go maybe. <laughs> that can help us. <laughs> Thank you. So who speaks next? Do I respond to that? Because now I, sh I should respond. I, I should respond. There's a lot to respond there. Your time started. I will tell you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Are you ti timing? Yes, yes, the brother is timing you. Okay. Masya Allah, sebuah video yang sangat menarik dari channel dakwah Sabil Islam yang berisi dakwah dari Dr. Sabil Ahmed di Amerika untuk menjelaskan ajaran agama Islam kepada umat Kristiani ataupun umat non-Islam lainnya. Video ini adalah lanjutan dari tiga bagian yang telah kami terjemahkan yang kami upload di bulan Desember 2022. Saat itu dengan meluap-luap dan penuh kemarahan Pastor Mario ingin mendebat Dr. Sabil Ahmed. Kini Pastor Mario pun kembali mendatangi dan mendebatnya, mungkin dengan amunisi yang baru yang dia bawa. Di awal video dijelaskan oleh Dr. Sabil Ahmed bahwa diskusi ini sebaiknya penuh dengan persaudaraan dan santun antara dirinya dan Pastor Mario sebagai seorang saudara dan sebagai tamunya. 
diskusi atau debat ini difasilitasi oleh sebuah masjid yang dipimpin oleh bro iman dan masjid ini juga menunjuk salah seorang dari mereka untuk mengatur jalannya debat yaitu mengatur waktu kapan menyampaikan tema dan juga kapan untuk mereka saling berdiskusi atau saling mendebat untuk menyampaikan tema diberi waktu selama lima menit dan juga untuk saling menyanggah Perkataan diberikan waktu masing-masing dua menit. Dari dua pembicara ini mereka bersepakat untuk mengangkat tema yaitu siapakah sebenarnya Nabi Isa alaihissalam atau yang disebut Yesus Kristus oleh umat Kristen. Pada bagian pertama Dr. Sabil Ahmed mendapatkan kesempatan untuk menjelaskan siapakah Yesus Kristus itu dalam pandangan Islam. Beliau menjelaskan dalam lima poin. Kami akan menjelaskan poin yang pertama. Di alam ini ada satu pencipta yang kami sebut Allah. Yang mempunyai nama dan sifat yang indah. Asmaul Husna. Kami meyakini hanya ada satu pencipta. Dia maha abadi, maha kekal, tidak memiliki orang tua, tidak memiliki anak. Tidak pula diperanakan. Untuk menuntun manusia, Tuhan tidak perlu turun ke bumi langsung. Tetapi Tuhan mengutus orang manusia sebagai nabi atau rasul utusan. Dalam membimbing manusia, Tuhan memberikan kitab suci yang harus diimani dan juga diikuti oleh manusia pada waktu itu. Dan sebagai kitab suci terakhir yang diturunkan oleh Tuhan adalah Al-Quranul Karim. Disampaikan oleh Zibril kepada Nabi Muhammad SAW yang bisa kita lihat saat ini. Nah sahabat mungkin itu saja sedikit video reaksi dari saya. Mudah-mudahan bermanfaat. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.